Welcome, friends. We're back with some more uh, breaking Star Trek Prodigy news. So if you were following along yesterday with my almost non-viewed video or just anywhere else online, it was confirmed that Star Trek Prodigy has been uh, given a green light for a premiere date on Netflix July 1st. You can check out more about that all over the place. But now we finally have confirmation as to the release schedule, or I guess you could say a lack of release schedule. So coming to trekmovie.com here, uh, the source for everything new in Trek, we find out, along with the Netflix, it's also coming to Sky Showtime, but uh, that doesn't really impact me here. We have a quick update and a few more details following yesterday's breaking news that the second season of blah, 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 blah. That's just recapping. Um, today we confirm that all of it, all 20 episodes of the second season of Star Trek Prodigy will arrive for streaming Monday, July 1st. All 20 at the same time. That's not anything new to Netflix. However, I do think this is tantamount to proof that there is not going to be any further follow-up to Prodigy after this. If you can remember back all those years ago, apparently uh, 2021, 2022, when that first season dropped, it was kind of broken up into some pretty severe chunks. The first 10 episodes aired, and I think there might have even been a couple of breaks in there, but there was such a wild break between those first 10 episodes and those second 10 episodes, it pretty much felt like it was two seasons to begin with, and the way that the uh, the series was structured, the arcs in those first 10 and second 10 definitely felt like they were uh, pretty self-contained stories as well, even though they were all leading up to that, uh, that final storyline of joining Starfleet in the Federation and and all of that stuff. So I thought personally there was probably going to be a similar kind of structure here. Now I would have loved this to be broken into a week by week streaming release or something maybe a little more similar to the normal Netflix drop structure of grouping. So you get the first block of five episodes and you get the second block of five episodes. Ten and ten would still be pretty bad as far as engagement goes but maybe in groups of five. Heck I don't even know why they haven't experimented with like twice a week drop it on Tuesdays and Thursdays or something like that. What this really boils down to, at least in my opinion, is this is really the end of the show. Hopefully they kind of structured it so that it has a natural ending in season two, but this is really showing me that I don't think dropping everything in one big chunk on the same day is going to generate all the buzz and the week-to-week -week YouTube conversations and posting online, all of that stuff you get with a weekly release. And because this show was for all intents and purposes, done when Netflix was gifted it because of Paramount's dumb decision. They didn't have any real skin in the game as far as funding it. So unless this second season just has the most amazing numbers and viewership and it increases and the longer it's on Netflix, the more it grows and grows and the more popular it gets, I can't imagine dropping 20 episodes of a children's show with very little promotion and fanfare in a, just a couple of weeks is going to prove to Netflix that they need to invest a ton more money in creating a new season, especially since, as it stands, Netflix doesn't have the rights to any other Star Trek material, at least here in the United States, and with the whole Skydance Paramount merger going on, I don't know if they're going to let up more control, so I don't know how much creativity and wiggle room and all of that stuff Netflix would have if they created more Prodigy to kind of fit that in with all of the stuff going on in competing networks. So adding all of that stuff together kind of leads me down the road to, yes, it's a very exciting and happy day that we're getting more Star Trek Prodigy, probably the brightest spot in uh, the new landscape of current Star Trek we have right now, considering almost everything else is either off the air or taking a break for a while. But it just kind of feels like we just had the death of Discovery, we have the death of Lower Decks coming up, and... Um, it kind of feels like we're about to lose Prodigy, even though we haven't even seen Season 2 yet. Again, I'm very hopeful I'm wrong in just being pessimistic and reading too much into this. And I am 100% excited to follow the crew of the Protostar, now no longer the crew of the Protostar, as they actually do Starfleet stuff and interact with a heck of a lot of... Uh, just recurring Star Trek characters we haven't seen for a while. The real Janeway, the real Doctor, uh, probably the real Chakotay. I have to imagine Harry Kim's popping up considering all of that scuttlebutt from a couple of years ago that he belonged to Prodigy. So I can't wait to see this stuff, but it just already has a sour taste in my mouth that this is going to be the end. 
Again, knock on wood that I'm wrong, but those are my thoughts. Are you excited to see it all in one drop? Because I guess now you can binge it all in one day if you want to. I'm probably going to parse it out and try to uh, to watch maybe one a day or a couple a day. I'm not entirely certain if I'm even going to cover it episode by episode this way. I would like to. I would like to put out a review maybe once a week every couple of days or something. I just can't imagine that's really going to get any sort of traction. Whatever you think, leave it down below. Like, share, subscribe, do all those fancy YouTube things. But until next time... Honestly, I thought this would be educational. But there's very little to learn from here, I'm afraid. Computer, pause right now. By the great bird of the galaxy, I've had enough of this nonsense.